Get Royal con el Paul Major Tickers. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're gonna be staying super busy as well, like in the last vlog. Um, today we have a little bit of everything going on. But first thing first, I don't know if you guys know that brand Swello Mob. Um, they're actually located out there in Texas, and they actually got all that giveaway trucks going on as well. Um, and I think they just gave away two trucks, some badass ones. They call them Devos, and it turns out that the winners are actually here in California. I think he said that one of them is in Vista, California, and another one is in San Jose, California. And that's kind of far away from where I live. But my boy contacted me and said, hey, where do you stay? I want to come drop these off, store them at your house. If that's cool, you know, because the, the truck driver only had a chance to drop them off today. And he said he doesn't really know anywhere around. He doesn't trust the trucks. He's scared they're going to get robbed or touched or damaged, vandalized or whatever. So I told him, yeah, you know, you can drop them off at my house. So the trucks are going to be staying here at my house for three days, three, four days. Today's Tuesday and the giveaway winners are not going to be picking up the, those trucks until the weekend. So, you know, that's not a big problem. But the thing is, you guys already know, I already own a lot of trucks myself. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be parking my trucks on the street and I'm going to be parking his badass trucks inside my property to make sure they're good. So yeah, but right now what I'm gonna be doing is I have to be moving all my trucks, I have to take them out to the street. So that's what I'm gonna be doing first. And later we have a meeting with Intro Wheels as well. Um, we're doing a little partnership. I'm gonna be choosing my new wheels for my 2020. Something badass, um, I don't know the design, the size yet, but I'm gonna go for something big, either 26 or 28. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be getting a new set of wheels for my 2020. And then we're gonna be talking to them. They said they wanna to talk to me. I'll let you guys know how that goes after. And then later tonight as well, we actually have a video shoot with the 2020 and my black show truck with, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jenny69. Most of us here on the channel are guys. Um, some of us might know who she is, but that's mainly for the girls. She's like a makeup girl or whatever. She's like a makeup baddie. She's super like whew, amazing. But yeah, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be doing that later with uh, Famous One as well. Like I said, that's just an idea of what you guys wanna expect with this vlog. But yeah, let's see where this vlog takes us later on. So first thing first, let's turn this truck on. Let's take it out so we can put one in my backyard. This thing's super loud. I love it though, it's music to my ears. And don't mind my eyes. You guys are always asking me if I smoke weed, that I'm faded. No guys, I do not do that. I told you guys if I did, I would have no problem telling you guys the truth, but I don't. I'm just, I just usually start recording as soon as I wake up. Sometimes I don't even brush my teeth. I start recording before, but today I brushed them. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let my truck warm up a little bit so we can put it out. And then uh, my boy's already here actually. He just got, he's in the front yard. I'm gonna be showing you one of the trucks in the front right now. So here it is, nicely parked in front of my house behind my black show truck and my boy's out here. <clears throat> What up, my boy? Say what up to the vlog. What up? All the way from Houston, right? Hey, Houston? And this is the giveaway truck. Hey, how do they win it? The dude that won this truck. Well, see, whatever you buy at SwelloMob.com, you know, energy for giveaways. He bought like what? I think like two hoodies and he bought, he won this truck. He rolled out the back one. They were going to bring my son a few. He spent $25 on the windshield stickers. Nice. That is crazy. So make sure you guys shop on SwelloMob.com stickers, camisas, hoodies, whatever. So you guys heard it took two sweaters for this guy to win this truck that's well worth over 30 grand, I guess. 26 is 28, powder coated. Nice. So this is going to go parked outside of my backyard. Yeah, the other long one I can't find this is longer. Sheesh. That thing is sick. I remember around once when we were in Houston, we were actually cruising around in this one. All right, guys. So my boy just left. He wanted to go pick up the second giveaway truck. He was only able to drive one because he only has one set of hands, you know. So he wanna go pick up the other one. And meanwhile, um, I'm gonna go wash my trucks because obviously my trucks are always dirty. Um, and for the video shoot, they have to look nice and shiny. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be washing my black show truck and my red truck. Look at how dirty the paint is. We cannot have that. And then look at this one. Since this one is black, you can tell a lot more. Look. Let's see. We just got here to the car wash, guys. Time to wash a black truck first. Look at that. All right, I showed you guys at the house, so let's just give it a quick little wash. So it could be A1. So 
So we just got back from washing both trucks and they're back with the second giveaway. In my opinion, I think this is more of my favorite. Four doors for more whores. So this one's gonna post up, be posted up in front of my house just because it looks extra clean. So look at this guys, it looks amazing, just parked in my driveway, they gave me the keys as well, you know, but this is not mine, no way would I even turn it on, but man, do I wish that this was my truck, is it open, no it's not open, and it's bagged, all four corners, look at how it tucks, the back are 28s, it's a sick ass design as well, and then the front are 26s. Okay, but yeah, it's time to go to the meeting now. All right, guys, we arrived. Honestly, I've never been here, so I don't know exactly where it's at, but I think it's here because I see a whole bunch of wheels and barrels and all this stuff, you know. So let's go see. This is how the wheels uh, center start. They start with a, they call this a, uh, a disc. Um, it starts off with the ingot. First, it starts off as stock. They cut it to size depending how big it's going to be and how much volume of aluminum is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Then they rotary forge it. It spins at uh, 30 revolutions per minute, uh, tons of pressure, and they make it into a disc. As you can tell, this is just to be the, the actual uh, cut of the stop. Okay. That's how they keep the, the, the diameter depending on how the volume is going to flow out. But uh, this is how it starts. That's how it starts. Throw it on a, on a lathe, and depending on the profile and the type of uh, angle radiuses and uh, designs, so some designs are more of a concave, and some more of a circular. Okay. And that's how they'll lay the part. See how this one comes up? This one comes just flow. Cool. Some of them are flat. Okay, here, this is flat. Makes sense. Yep. So you come over here. You draw a lathe. They're doing all the same thing. They're cutting the ID hole. They're cutting the, the the diameter, they're cutting uh, the, the profile of the wheel. Uh, depending also uh, if it's going to be a five lug, a six lug, or eight lug, and then the back is cut to the, to the diameter. Cool. You can also use the different tool bits on here. Some of them have a couple of tools, some of them have a lot more depending on the job. Uh, exported out, sold in the computer. This is all recycled and made more wheels out of it. That's all the center you can cut. Those old little burners, especially they're coming through with. Over here, what we're doing is once it's laid the profile set, then you got a, a program in there. A program of suit the, the liquid to pull the part and the cutting tool, and then it'll be cutting the design, uh, the window pockets, the bolt pattern, all that good stuff. So, let's see if we'll get one running over here.
picture, still picture of that. Crazy designs in your hand. People like to see the crazy designs. All these drills that are laid out here, they've already been uh, drilled, um, styled, and you're finishing up the, the lug hole pattern. Okay. Um, each wheel has its own depth and variation of lug holes. Most of them are the same diameter, but they go to different depths depending on the thickness of the aluminum and the program that you see. The diameter depending on the size each rim has a certain size certain tolerance so the rim the centers are cut to those tolerances well we make them so tight that the, the outer has to be expanded through heat so that the center fits in there nice and snug um, it can't be over and it can't be under has to be right so, fit. so with heat they put the rim on there over here they put the center with the height of the of the back spacing that it's going to be or the offset and then they expand it on there and then they flip it on here. So right now, I turn on the, the fire, so it's just gonna give you, uh, if you wanna take some video of this, this is how you heat up a uh, part. It's rotating and it's also heating it up. And it makes a good video. They let it cool. Once it, it cools down, then they'll put it on there and check it for, for uh, warping or add around for tension, and then it's welded. Right now, when you guys are allocating a, uh, a 26 inch part, like a 28 inch part, and he's welding it. Let's go look at it, right? Them. Okay. So even though the rims are polished and the centers are finished, uh, the welding sparks and the smoke, yeah. uh, they dull the finish. So you got to clean it up with polish or a buffing wheel, um, and then put the cap on there. Make sure the all the uh, all the details are fine, uh, okay. and then it's wrapped up and put in the box. Oh. So pretty much from here to here, it's pretty much. Okay, right there. These are all wheels ready to be cleaned. So these are the faces. This one takes a plate with a knockoff. Traditional old school beam. We call this a concave. Yeah, these are the these are the badass design right here. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just left the warehouse, and on my way home, I'm just thinking, you know, it's crazy the whole process that it takes to make these wheels. You know, every time we think of wheels. We just think of like for some reason we just think that the wheels are just made you know but uh, it was pretty it was pretty badass it was my first time experiencing 
um, something like that where they show me where the where the how the wheels are made. Um, and and it's, another thing that I was thinking about is the expensive um, machinery. You know, I wonder how much they spend just on those machines. Like for the most part, it's the machines making the the wheels alone. You know, but I can only imagine how many thousands um, those machines are worth. Not only that, but imagine one of those machines breaking, how much it, it costs just to repair that, that machine, you know? So I know a lot of people, including me, you know, I'll speak, I'll speak like, I'll be real with you guys. Um, sometimes I would think like, you know, why are these wheels so expensive? You know, like, like are these wheels really, really worth it? But as you guys saw in the video, once you start putting all the math together, once you see all the machinery, um, the whole process of how the wheels are made, then it kind of makes more sense, you know? So as I always tell you guys, you gotta pay to play. As you guys just saw throughout that whole process, it's not easy to make those wheels. So it would be very unfair for those wheels to be cheap. But with that being said, huge shout out to the whole intro team um, and brand. They do some badass work, some badass designs. But shout out to you guys for getting it done. Aside from all of that, I have very, very good news uh, for myself and for those who love to see me do good. A huge announcement is now I'm actually partnered, um, sponsored by Intro Wheels, which is super, super badass. We're actually working on brand new wheels for my 2020 um, Silverado. We're getting a brand new set. Hold on, this set, this sun makes me look a little bit weird. I know I'm dark and stuff, you know, but this sun is not helping. But as I told you guys, we're gonna be getting a brand new set of Intro Wheels for my 2020 Silverado. And guys, we're finally going back to big boy wheels. We're not getting 26s on this truck. We're gonna be going back to 28s like I had on my old giveaway truck. Um, the bad thing is, uh, I'm not gonna be using this truck as much. I'm not gonna be hitting the road as much. Why? Because um, they're very, very fragile and I don't wanna damage them. But the good thing is that it's gonna look freaking killer. Some big ass 28s, you know? And I think I'm finally gonna be going with the bigger lip in the back. The biggest lip I've ever got was an eight inch lip. Um, I can't tell you guys the dimensions. You guys are just gonna have to wait and see when my wheels are ready. I'm not gonna be telling you guys the design as well, um, but they have some crazy ass badass designs. It was super, super hard to choose a design, but I think I chose something badass for this truck that's gonna stand out. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm super, super excited. They said they're gonna try to give me those wheels um, as soon as they can. So as soon as I get those wheels, we're gonna send this truck to start getting chopped up, chopped up, start getting cut, start narrowing that div. We're gonna be needing a four link as well. We can't keep the leaf strings because of how big the lip is gonna be for that. And not only that, but the guys over at Intro hooked us up with a bunch of merch. Check it out. Not this is this is the shirt that I was wearing. You guys already know I took it off and I went ahead and threw on the intro, um, the intro shirt that I had. But check it out. Look at this. I got medium. Fun fact, I'm actually a medium and a large. I'm a medium because I'm skinny, but I'm a large because I'm tall. In reality, I'm a medium, but I need it longer, but they don't really make um, shirts that fit me. That's what I get for being Escaleto, you know? So they went, they just went ahead and hooked me up with both, medium and large, I said, you know? They hooked me up with a lot of shirts. They also gave me a badass banner, but I can't wait to get my house, guys, my new house, um, so I could start my man cave in my garage, so I could hang up all those posters. They also gave me this badass, like, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it looks sick and la, la voy a tornear once I get my garage and they hooked me up with my favorite of all time. Many, many hats, you know, snapbacks, many different styles, you know, and there's bags full of it, bags full of it, there's stickers and todo, check it out, and more hats, more hats, you know. So I think I'm going to be doing a small little giveaway because this is a lot of stuff for me. So just stay tuned on my Instagram or on my next previous YouTube video. I'm going to be explaining on how to, if you guys want to go ahead and win a hat, a shirt, some stickers, I'll be explaining how to win those. But as of right now, we're continuing this vlog. I'm already back in my city. I mean, my boy Swallow Mob said that he wants to go out eat some mariscos. So I'm bringing him to a spot right here local around where I live. It's called Mariscos Las Brisas. So we're going to go in there. I'm starting some mariscos. I think Famous Juan is going to meet us here as well. And then once we're done eating, we're just going to start heading to Los Angeles to San to Santa Monica Beach, go meet up with Jenny69 and just start uh, having the video shoot. Check it out, Mariscos Las Brisas. This is where we're gonna be eating. And um, Swallow Mom is on his way here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the table. So look at who finally showed up. They both showed up at the same time. They literally had me waiting at this table all alone, like a freaking loner. It's the first time and the last time that I sit alone. But yeah, my boy Swallow Mom, his homeboy, Juanillo. So, they go, hell yeah, that's show them the merch. Sheesh. So yeah, right now we're just gonna grab something to eat and then we're gonna head out to LA for the vo for the video shoot and then we'll continue the vlog. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, they actually rescued, both of them rescued a dog. Uh, so tell us real quick, what did you find it just real quick? 
the street. <laughs> they found the they found a dog on the street and they decided to adopt it. And they made they made the dog a little uh uh an Instagram page Instagram and everything. Account. Make sure you guys go follow it. What is it? La dot wessels. La dot wessels. Yeah. You know, funny story is that they actually we actually had it in here, but the people from the spot said you can't have um dogs unless you have the what did they say? The card? Uh, the service card. The service card. Yeah, so, so they kicked Wessels out. So they kicked Wessels out. So where's Wessels right now? So where's Wessels right now? <laughs> so they literally left it in the street again. <laughs> so I guess they said they left it in the back of my truck. Let me show you guys Wessels. Wessels, where are you? That's a funny name. I don't know why they called it that. Wessels. Hi, Wessels. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they had to kick you out. We'll bring you, we'll bring you some food right now. Don't worry, Wessels. You don't have to suffer no more. I was about to say, I wonder why they call her Wessels, but look. It's okay, Wessels, don't trip. We're going to help you get rid of these huesitos. I'll be back, Wessels. So I couldn't really wait. I forgot to record. I already picked at it. When I'm eating some bomb ass camarones on la diabla. I was expecting a big ass plate full of them. Uh, it's only like six little shrimps, but I'm a small guy, so it's okay. My boy's already done. Uh, what you get, my boy? The little bitty ass scrimp. <laughs> we got the same thing. Same thing. And I'm sorry we couldn't wait for you guys, but I'm sorry, so I just had to eat without them. <laughs> Who's one boxing there? Hey? So, yeah. Damn, boy, comete algo. Damn. It's Fuck. even, it's even, burn my shit. it's even Orlando. <laughs> I know, you know, saliendo de cocinar y todo. Bro, 4th of July is over. Why are you so popping? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got here to LA. Bad news is that they told us that they don't want any recording, no behind, be, they said they don't want any recordings, any behind the scenes or anything because for personal reasons. Um, But it's okay, you know, you guys will check out the music video once it's all done on her channel. Uh, they just finished up recording and everything, you know, they already got rid of the lines, which anyone is trying to change. She had a sick ass to, como se dice, un, uh, un saco de avestruz, algo así con, con un sombrero. But uh, they want to record a music video with, um, Chero Le 4x4. They want to record a music video with La Hueso. <laughs> and then, yeah, so let's, let's be on the same. You know? Hell yeah, let's get it. I'm not one and only Wessels, cuz. <laughs> this is, this is Wessels right here. Better than your pit bull. Hace una semana, Wessels was in the in the gut. It was too good. <laughs> you guys heard the song, El Gato Volador. Wow. They want to play Gato Volador. Volador. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, very good. Now, he ain't got shit on the. Cash app. Cash app. Oh, Cash app. This was PayPal. More ice than any of us. There we go. El Chafita PayPal, no más que por. Ni tiene para comer. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Like that, like that. Get away, get away. Just, just. Okay, go, go, go. Oh my. Hey, walk with us, dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so the night is coming to a end very, very, very quickly. So we just left the spot, uh, but we're out here in downtown LA right now. And before we actually go ahead and close out this volume cut in the night, we are gonna go ahead and grub, grab some food. Uh, we don't know exactly, we don't know exactly what we're gonna be eating. Uh, they just told us to come here. Hot dogs. So I mean, hot dogs. <laughs> we're gonna be eating uh, La Huesos. But yeah, we just freaking <laughs> had to squeeze our cars in here in some freaking tight ass spot. We don't know how we did it, but we just did it. But uh, yeah, so let's just go grab some food and then just close out this vlog.